Well, in health news tonight, a really incredible story. Just listen to this. A man with almost okay. no hair at all on his entire body now has a full head of hair. What a story. It's all thanks to a breakthrough approach by a doctor at the Yale School of Medicine. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa live in our New Haven newsroom tonight with how all this came about. Jocelyn. Keith Ann, here's what happened. Kyle Holland has two medical issues, a severe case of a skin condition and one that causes hair loss. That presented an opportunity for Dr. Brett King to follow through with a drug he believed could treat both. For most of his life, Kyle Holland has dealt with autoimmune diseases. He has alopecia universalis, total hair loss, and plaque psoriasis, a severe skin condition. The psoriasis is a lot different. I'd say I'm more shy about that than being bald. How fantastic. Today, Kyle has a head of hair with his psoriasis somewhat diminishing. Now it's like a few spots all around, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Things changed dramatically after Kyle sought treatment with Dr. Brett King at Yale School of Medicine. I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly optimistic that this is a huge breakthrough. Dr. King relied on scientific evidence that tofacitinib citrate, a drug approved for rheumatoid arthritis, could help Kyle. With Kyle, we had an opportunity to possibly use one medicine to both regrow his hair, which had never been done before uh, in a human, and uh, and also to treat his psoriasis. Three months, I have eyebrows and eyelashes and I'm shaving again. But treating the 25-year-old's psoriasis has been more challenging. There's no medicine for the treatment of psoriasis that works in 100% of people. Um, and this may be a medicine that for Kyle is not amazing for his psoriasis. Kyle is taking everything in stride. With autoimmune conditions, you never know. Something could work and then all of a sudden not. For the tens of thousands with alopecia. So this is a tremendous leap forward in our understanding of this disease, but also the first time that these folks have hope. Uh, for for a treatment. Hope to which Dr. King attributes to years of medical research made possible by crucial funding. For Kyle, the locks of hair have a downside. I would kind of like not having to get haircuts and the uh, expenses of razors. He says that with a smile. Dr. King has begun a clinical trial to determine the parameters of using the drug to treat alopecia. He tells me it will help answer questions such as, do you need treatment every day? How much treatment do you need? Already he has received over 3,000 emails from all over the world. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.